Two college students in Lackawanna County are on a mission to spread kindness. It's the second annual Kindness Week at Marywood University, and this year it's expanding beyond campus. Fox 56's Taylor Wardenby tells us how some local businesses are getting involved. Kindness Week at Marywood is a way for students to share kindness, and every day this week there will be a different activity so people on or off campus can get involved. Scranton area businesses like Fork and Bowl and Lynn Sandy's Bakery will join in by doing those activities in their own way. We have 10 local businesses that are participating in Kindness Week of their own this week, which is really exciting. And a huge thank you to Broadway and Scranton for helping us set that up and, and for spreading Kindness Week throughout the greater Scranton community. Many people participated today by writing kind messages on sticky notes and displayed in Mary Wood's Learning Commons. Quick, simple, easy ways to show the people in your community that you care about them. So we have our sticky note wall where students can write kind messages. We have a thank you card making day later in the week. And tomorrow we are implementing the kindness seat. Even on day one, our sticky note wall is filling up fast. Our goal <laughs> is to fill the window. And just everybody that's come to the table has left with a smile on their face. Liz and Maddie Adams, founders of Kindness Week, also have a podcast called Courageously Kind Podcast and we're encouraged by a professor to bring something like that to campus. We've experienced unkindness in our lives, so we know just the value of a word or a smile. People just need a small reminder to let the people in their community know that they care about them. A third year student at Mary Wood stopped by to put a kind message on the window and tells me the world could use more kindness. They had, we had this last year too and it was a big success and I'm happy that the the Adams twins are doing it again. Those two have so much uh, love and kindness in their hearts for everybody. There's so much like intolerance in the world today and so many people are just fighting back with more intolerance. I think the best thing people can do is just take a step back and be kind. These kind messages are added to the window for all to see in hopes to make someone's day. Reporting in Lackawanna County, I'm Taylor Whartonby with Fox 56 News, first at 10. On the last day of Kindness Week, Mary Wood will have a flower delivery with more than 500 flowers. To get connected to the founders of Kind Week, we will have their platforms on our website.